I was a, there was a mess of tuberculosis, as you already know, which I ever told you people before that. When Newfoundland was, had a mess one time, and Newfoundland wasn't the only place either. But, but tuberculosis was raging, see. And then they got the Christmas seal, as I told you people before, or after told other people. And the Christmas seal had to go around Newfoundland coast and go in every, every place where anyone would live. That's by the sea now, ain't it? Well, we were going around the coast with vaccine for medicine. Now, there's people know quite a bit about medicine at day and age. But we was giving the little, little ones uh, a needles vaccine for the polio. I was vaccinating them against measles. And we was uh, x raying and testing for diabetes, x raying for tuberculosis. Well, the last year down on the Christmas here, we found about 10 cases of diabetes, where we found one case of tuberculosis. TB, as they used to call it. And they used to get the, the little ones BCG. I don't know what BCG stands for. Now, there's people can tell me what it does stand for, but I, I didn't know. But some of the girls just said, Give her what's BCG? What does that mean? I said, BCG means be careful, girls. I, I have learned that there is no substitution for dedication and that the doctors, scientists and everyone involved in the field of Canadian medicine are confident that the future is very bright. New, the drugs that have been developed over the last 50 years, say, uh, most of them today, the drugs that are being used are the ones that have only been developed the last 10 years. There are still some older drugs being used, but a lot of those have been um, more purified or altered or changed to use the most active ingredients of them. And uh, I think this will continue. Do you think they'll ever find a cure for, for uh, AIDS as it stands now? Sure they will. You, you, you do? Uh, they've got to. After all, that's a, a major disaster. Uh, it's getting worse all the time. There are a million in, in Africa now mm -hmm. and lots that we don't even know about. That, that haven't come forward on the thing. They just got to. And they will. There was a time when syphilis, for instance, was, was not curable, was it? That's and yet they found it. Before that, they had uh, terrible things like, what was that, silvar sand or something? Oh, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, mercury. mercury. Uh, terrible, terrible way to, to treat people, but they, that was the only thing they had. But then they came up with penicillin. And, penicillin. Yeah. So they'll get it eventually. Yeah. I think the pharmaceutical industry has provided uh, an un inestimable uh, yeah. value to, to society in the, with the types of products and, and uh, the availability of health care and all, re all the rest of it, and that, the things the doctors have to work with today. If you look back in science, there, there are momentous occasions. Development, a development occurs and people build on that for many years, and then the ability to build on that previous discovery winds down a little and one has to have another big discovery before you can progress further. I suspect where we're going to see the greatest developments in the future, and what I'm looking forward to personally, is to understanding more about the genetic programs that, that exist in life. We, we know a fair amount about the codes that are used by nature, but the programs uh, by which those codes are, are exercised in producing particular effects, that's still a great mystery. It's being unraveled. And I think in, in the next few years, we'll learn a great deal more about how virus are, viruses are activated, uh, what causes viral latency, what, what causes cancer in people some people to lie dormant for many years and suddenly to come out. Um, some of the initiati uh, initiating events and the control events, that is where most of the action is going to be in the next few years in molecular biology and in the associated science of immunology.